Hey guys, welcome back to Suikoden 2. In this episode, uh, we're going to resume with our conversation with Joey. And he wants to go back to Kiaro, in which we will. Um, yeah, it is a stupid war. Now that is actually a hint at the good ending that we're going to be getting, guys. Which I really intend to do. Even though it's going to be a hack, but... <laughs> it's what makes this game worth it, you know? Well, you did protect her, though. Yeah. Good to have a lock to console you. Yeah, and Joey really means that, but... He just... I don't know, how am I going to say this without spoiling again, but he just goes about it the wrong way. You'll see what I'm talking about. And Polika wakes up. Poor thing. Can't even speak. Because Luca is just a... Ugh. Oh, so evil. He was the first villain that actually did that to like a child. Made a child mute. That is just pure evil. Really, it is. Ugh. Don't worry, we're gonna get him, guys. We're gonna get him real good. <laughs> Alright, Victor and Flick have come back to save us. Old man. He's not that old. He's like 20-ish. 28. Oh. Yeah, we took a heck of a detour. Oh. Yeah, we leveled up. <laughs> Alright, Leona's new tavern. It's actually a pretty nice place. And, yeah, City Hall. Uh, that's where we meet Lady Annabelle. And uh, she holds a lot of significance in this game, she does. But at the uh, inn, there's actually a very important character that I want to recruit right now. Um, the tomboy, nice. But, yeah, she's a very important character. And, uh, yeah, but that won't be until later. Let's see if we can get to the rune shop and get the, um, fury rune. Yeah. I think it's in the rare finds. Shh. Ugh. No, we can't get him right now. That blows. I'd like to get the Fury Rune now instead of like at the tail end of the game where you get it as a treasure. But whatever, the Fury Rune is really nice to have. And I'd really love to get it now, but I can't do that just yet. Yeah, we gotta go back to the inn first. Sorry about that, guys. Just running around. Oh well. Alright, now we're going to go and go up to the city hall and meet Lady Annabelle. Now, I don't know, like there's something between Victor and Lady Annabelle. I don't know, they, they do look like they're made for each other. Like you can definitely tell that chemistry going on later on. But, yeah. You can, it even hints at it in the, the upcoming cutscenes, but, yeah. This is where, I think this is like the major turning point of the game. Like, this game, it, I mean this turning point rather, it just makes it where uh, you, you just totally don't expect what's going to happen. It's just one of those surprise things. And there's Lady Annabelle. Very decisive, very smart. <sighs> Nice. Short and to the point. That's what I like about her. Very professional. A well-suited leader. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, we lost the fort. Yeah. Luca Blight, I'm telling you. Alright. So, uh, Victor introduces us. This little tomboy is Nanami! <laughs> yes. And the Palika, of course. Hmm. Well, guess what? We're gonna be battling, guys. Yeah, she knows us. She knows all about us. Now, Jess. Jess? Ugh. Another character that I don't like. I mean, if you just look at him, he just looks like one of those aggravating characters. And then she talks about Genkaku. And Victor's surprised, but Genkaka, I told you before, uh, he holds a lot of importance for both the city-state and Highland. Uh, of course, you'll be seeing that more later on in the game. Unfortunately, it's much later on, but... You know, nothing you can do about that, but it's just a really good story. And, uh, but going back to Jess... I don't know, I don't want to tell too much now, but... You'll see why I won't like him. Uh, yep, Victor will. Uh, yeah, you can tell. It's that little chemistry going on. Okay, and uh, Victor's going to be leaving us. And we are going to be doing some exploring, quote-unquote. And, uh, yeah, it's just not really, there's nothing here except books. So, um, pretty much what we're going to be doing is just going straight to Jess and seeing what's up with him, but I don't know, let's, is there anything d down here? You'll have to go down here later in the game, but it's locked, so never mind. So just go straight to Jess and, uh, see what he's up to, and then you get a little cutscene. <clears throat> Youth Brigade. Sounds familiar, huh? Now check this out. What he wants us to do... Well, you see, Highland is planning a siege on Muse City. They're gonna go straight for the capital, and it's gonna be all-out war. Um... Jess knows that Joey and Locke were in the Youth Brigade that was slaughtered. So what we're going to do, what we're going to have to do, is dress up as Youth Brigade soldiers, uh, infiltrate a camp, and find out the ration, uh, how much uh, rations the Highlanders will be storing. Then it'll like decide, it'll like decide like whether uh, Highland's going to do a long siege or a quick fight, depending on how much uh, rations that they have. And if we make it out alive, it'll be great for Mew City. Which is total bogus. You don't you simply just don't tell children to do that, but I guess in Suikoden 2, uh, you know, these children are just pretty much robbed of their uh, youth. And uh, they're pretty much forced to grow up instantly. It's kind of messed up, but that's what I love about this game so much because I feel that way, you know? It's just, ugh, I didn't have much of a child that just had to grow up. But, yeah, that's just me on my personal note there, but, yeah. Now, uh, let's go back and see if we have the rune. Which, I don't think... Nope. Nope. Uh, usually, with the rare finds, it can generate, like, within every half an hour of playing the game. I don't know where I heard that from, but I... I don't know if that really happens like that, but... We'll see next time we play the game. I'll definitely check again. Alright, now, pretty much what we're going to do here is decide on a party that we want. And I'm definitely bringing back Kinnison and Shiro. Even though I'll probably have to do some leveling up. But, uh, yeah. 
that's pretty much what I want uh, to use. This is a loyal gamer signing off this weekend in two, and I'll see you next time. Bye.